Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another video. I'm doing some construction contracts now as I want to get as close to 99 construction in this video as possible, but it is quite a grind so I'm probably not going to reach it, but I am right now 92 and I have already bought the plank box, but I haven't upgraded it all the way. But uh, hopefully we can get that done in this video as a minimum and then we have some PVMing to do. Oh my god, look at that! 1.3 million cash for 42% enraged kill. I got coins and I was like, oh, it's probably like 100k. 1.3 million, that is so much money. Oh my god, dude, I was always wondering why people didn't do Telos with ranged. I was like, ah, dude, ranged is like the best DPS in the game, right? Maybe not now with the Staff of Armadil, but still, I was like, it's so good with the criminal bolts and all that. But the last phase and the adds that you have to cleave down with ranged, oh my god, it's so bad. But uh, I'm over 100% enraged now, and let's see what the loot is going to be. I have got so many Dragonites, look at this, 391, now 200 blue as well. But uh, almost 10 mil loot now. Oh, very nice. I actually got uh, a new record. That is 170% on rage. I brought probably way too many brews for that. But uh, let's see what the 170 on rage reward is going to be. Oh, that was so close. But some energies. 3.2k is not too bad. Just completed 100 construction contracts. And my current level is 93 and only 25 to 94 and almost 2 million experience on the counter. I did do a Tears of Gothics as well, but uh, I'm thinking is there even construction urns? If there is, maybe I should make them. I should look into that, but last time I checked I don't remember seeing any. Oh my god, after that clip I just checked my store and I'm actually exactly on 300. So I'm actually buying the plank box upgrade. Maybe some guys will say that it's a waste, but it just makes it so chill. I can just put a bunch of planks in this and I don't have to bank that often. The outfit is of course what I'm going to spend the future points on. Can confirm, there is no construction urns. Again at 170 points and actually 94 construction as well. Just recently got that, but it's not the most fun thing to do this, I'm going to be completely honest with you. So I'm just going to take a break here and get some Raksha done. I don't think I have that much Whiz Wax, and I don't think, I think I already did it today. So I'm just going to do a normal 30 minute Reckless Aura, and then maybe I'll do a full hour of Majorat as well, we'll see. Oh my god, dude, I have like no food. I only have a lot of blue blubbers, but not even that many, I guess. But eh, they work for Raksha, but... Yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to get more, because fishing feels really slow. Can't complain about the blue blubbers, pretty nice. Black dragonites, I probably got so many of- yeah, 1.5k from just Raksha. Actually, I'm going to reset now, so we can just track all the loot. Add 230 to it, I guess. That was not a very good kill, I had like 40 shadow power. It's been a long time since I actually got that high, but uh, still managed to get the kill, of course. <gasps> oh my god, look at that! I got the achievement for 0% shadow and I get the fleeting boots on the same drop. Oh my god, they are, they're like the best boots, right? 41 Raksha KC. Well, I, yeah, that's the ranged boots that allows you to use rapid fire meanwhile running. No way, dude. They're like 25 mil in the main game, I think. Yeah, 25 mil or something like that. That, that's so nice. That's going to help me with these kills a lot because I have to actually uh, move a lot in this fight. Like, look at this for an example. I have my death swiftness up now, and I will be using my rapid fire, and now I have to move back, and you can see it's still actually attacking. So I'm losing no DPS now on my rapid fire. Did some more kills, and that is 50 Raksha kills done. And uh, let's actually check the loot. This is all the loot that I've got from all the kills I've done this session. Of course, at the bottom, those fleeting boots are very, very nice. So happy to have them. I have over 300 Reaper points and my Essence of Finality is at 45%, so I'm going to buy another Hydrix, make it alchemical, and then I, we will get some nice recharging on the necklace. Luckily, I have 90 Fortunate Components and all the other components as well, so I can just make the alchemical Hydrix, and then actually you uh, craft this into just dust, and each dust is worth like 14 million. But it's actually only one dust for 50% recharge, so this essentially is 500% recharging, which is going to last me a very long time, because it drains pretty slowly, so it's nice that you don't have to recharge this uh, all too often. It was actually a while ago since I used my Death Touch darts, and I have four of them, and this is going to be the first one. I'm of course going to use them all on the Ambassador, and hopefully I don't die before I get to use this. 
That would be pretty unfortunate. So let's see what the first one out of four is going to be. Just going to throw the dart at the boss and let's see what we get. We get some onyx dust and some black stone hearts. 56 is actually not too bad and I guess that's a pretty mediocre drop overall. I actually just did like a 1 minute and 45 seconds leviathan kill, but I actually didn't get a record because it says that your kill is not recorded as you've used a death touch dart within the last 15 minutes. I had no idea that was a thing, but uh, yeah, I thought I was going to get like a really good record kill because uh, I have always been using melee for the leviathan. I don't know why, but uh, just went with that and now I'm using my full ranged set and of course I could kill it way faster, but uh, yeah, I have to wait uh, a bit if I want to get record kills after using that arts, I guess. Let's put on that protect for magic, eat the sharks so we don't get actually killed. And what is that? Five blackstone... Oh, actually two uncut onyxes as well. I've never seen that before from this boss and then again, I've never killed it before that much. But uh, yeah, that's more charges for my uh, onyx jewelry stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use this dart on this <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So I want to get the crossbow pieces. I want to get the these ones. Do you think I'll get them? Yes, I believe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see if I get it, dude. If if uh, if there's the thing in the chat, we're happy. Okay, we're 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 pogging. I don't want to die with the thingy now. Okay, throwing the dart. Let's be something good. Look at this. Is it good? No, it's shit. Oh it's no. really bad. No, <laughs> sad. Wait, how many is this? 90 something? Or is that 9? 90. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay. Yay. Decent. <laughs> it comes down to the last dart. And I think this is my 7th or 8th overall dart on the Ambassador. So let's see what we can get. And hopefully it's going to be something pretty decent. I always run in first, hit the boss. Alright, let's see what the last dart is going to be. And it is not something good, but it is some onyx ball tips and some more blackstone arrow tips. Are these actually useful for anything? The uh, blackstone arrow tips? I don't think they're worth anything at all and I don't... I have never seen anyone really use them. I have always been behind since I came back to the game on farming because uh, when I stopped playing the player on farm it wasn't a thing. So I actually had to uh, do a lot of just tree runs back in the days. But now with the farm I am trying to keep up on it as much as possible because I do want to get into being able to breed dinosaurs for the vulnerability bombs that give a 10% more damage to all bosses or whatever monster you want to kill. And that is just huge. So I am collecting by the way every single 6 or 7 hours whatever it is from the trapper and I'm going to do it now. And we get a vanilla dude Couldn't I have got this when I was trying to get the Dagon by mystery done? But uh, anyways, I send this off all the time as much as I can Try to get some good ones and I've actually been doing some big game hunter in the background as well to try to get some dinosaurs that I will be able to use in my farm in the future and uh I just teleport here now and then and check the uh, gather produce if I can and if I can I get some experience I'm currently 35% into 94, but I have to get this to like 107 or something like that. Pretty crazy. And I have to get 103 herb as well for the bombs. Yeah, he's sharing Dude, the boss is dying, man. 25% or 25k HP. Dude, that guy's kiting. Okay, five minute kill. What do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna get a rare drop? Yes. I don't know. I got nothing. Oh, this is not bad. This is uh, this is like an XP thing. Like it gives a lot of experience. Is it a video worthy? I don't know. Is it? Do you think it is? I don't know, I dude. I don't know what that shit is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess. But uh, let's buy the glove. I'm gonna buy the gloves because I think I have the constructor's outfit, the hat, the chest, and the legs. And I bought the chest actually already, so I'm going to buy the gloves now. And I'm pretty sure that they don't give 1% more experience if I only have this. I have to have the actual constructor item from Temple Trekking. But having the gloves now is uh, at least another item done for the constructor's outfit. So tomorrow the Glazor front is being released and I want to post this video before that so I don't have to post this video on the same day that that is going to be live. And I actually will stream the whole thing, my experience with the boss and everything 
on the release date. So uh, when it's live, I will be live and I will be killing the boss on my Iron Man. I've prepared some supplies for it and all that. So it should be a good time. So if you want to check that out, go to my YouTube channel when it's going to be up and I will be streaming it. So hope to see you there. But for now, this is the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.